Hi Naomi, my apologies for the scissors being a little bit tight for your preference. It is a personal preference thing. Um, and how tight you like your scissors. So I'll send you one of these universal scissor keys and it's got many little uh, notches in it. But what you do, you find the best two notches to suit the grooves within the scissor. Yeah, you'll probably find that these two uh, large notches are the best fit. Sit them into the groove. And then to, un to take the tension off, reduce the tension with the scissor, go anti-clockwise. So I'll just go one click. You'll be able to feel it just click. And then go half a click, go one click, and then just give it a bit of a wiggle. Grab the scissor between your two fingers. And that way you've, you've sort of bedded it in it, and it's a true representation on the tension of the scissor. And then give it a feel. If you think you need to go a bit more, just back it off. Just one turn at a time. If you think it's a bit too loose, and that's when you, you go up and you repeat the process. One turn at a time. If you need a bit more, just one, and you'll be able to hear it positively click in underneath that scissor. Give it a bit of a wiggle. And so forth. Uh, while I'm at it, I'll send you some clip oil as well. So with a little bottle, with your scissor, after a while, make sure you give it a clean, get a good cloth, give it a wipe down this pivot full of hair. And you just want to drop a couple of drops with a little bottle. Just like that, and that'll keep you going and just keep the scissors in good order. Remember to anti-clockwise to loosen it, clockwise to tighten it up. Uh, this clipper, well, it's a clipper and scissor oil, so you can also use it in your clear blades. I'll send you a link which will give you some advice on how to apply it to the front and back rails. Alright, yell out if you've got any questions. Thank you.